It's been a three decade <laughs> journey, speaking of decades, to get to this point. But against all odds, Bill and Ted are back this time to face the music. <laughs> well, Belinda spoke with Alex Winters, AKA Bill S. Preston Esquire, and William Sadler, who officially returned as death almost 20 years later. So Alex and Bill, the trailer looks hilarious. When you hear dude, I was laughing and smiling everything I needed this morning. That's great to hear. That was, I would say, the entire aim of all of this work. <laughs> That's exactly what we were asking. on people's faces. Well, Alex, you spent some time in Missouri in the St. Louis area before moving to New York City. And I just want to say, and KC, we love that. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience there? Well, sure. I spent my childhood there. So it was uh, my formative years. I, I grew up in St. Louis in New City. And my mom taught at Washington University, and I spent my summers in the Ozarks uh, at camp. So uh, my brother still lives in St. Louis. I'm still there a fair amount of time, a lot of friends there. And, you know, I kind of consider it my hometown. Okay, now let's switch gears to the plot. So it sounds like Bill and Ted are warned by a visitor from the future that they need to create a song in 78 minutes will save all the life on Earth and the entire universe. But this has to be a lot of pressure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick answer with there. a lot of pressure. I mean, that was the idea that, that was to us for the third movie that we thought was so funny was, what if you met Bill and Ted at this age, not not cardboard cutout versions of themselves young, but like dads and husbands and living life and having had life experience, but they have not succeeded in fulfilling their destiny. And now they have very little time to actually do that before the world comes to an end. And so we have to go basically and without giving too much away, kind of put the band back together again. All right, now, William, CBS fans know you from so many shows, including Blue Bloods, Hawaii Five-O, Madam Secretary, and God Friended Me. So what's it like being back as dad? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I, I, this is one of, in, in this, in this very long and checkered career of mine, I think playing the Grim Reaper is, is a highlight. It's, <laughs> it's um, it may be the most fun, role that I've ever that I've ever done and I've done lots and lots of roles I have to say but this one this one sort of has taken on a life of his own um, you know he's larger than life um, I started out playing villains in Hollywood you know lots of you know in Die Hard 2 and I kill, killed a lot of people and hard to kill I killed people and then as death I killed everybody who ever died <laughs> So it seemed like a natural progression, but, but I was not, I was not expecting the, to, to have, I don't think any of us were expecting to, for this to become an iconic, uh, you know, a piece of cinematic history. <laughs> 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 Bill and Ted Face the Music will be in some local theaters today. We're going to have a link to where you can see it on our website under Found It on Five. I just keep hearing in my head, party time. Excellent. That's what Isn't they that said. A different I thought that's movie? what they said. I might be on the wrong thing. But you can also catch <laughs> it on demand. We will be right back after That's this. Wayne's World. Whatever. <laughs>